<laughs> okay, I'd like to tell a story that starts in Stanford, California, where I did my undergraduate degree in general biology, and it ends here at UCSB, where I now call myself a geographer. A journey of about 23,000 nautical miles. Shortly after graduation, I flew to Samoa to join a research vessel, an 84-foot Chinese junk called Heraclitus, that was chartered by the Planetary Coral Reef Foundation. I spent the next four years sailing around the South Pacific and Southeast Asia, first on Heraclitus and then on a 120-foot catch called Infinity. The purpose of this expedition was to monitor coral reefs. Life on a boat demands spatial thinking that's a little bit different from life on land. It's like this test where you take a jar and you tilt it on its side and you ask a child to draw on the water level. We would do the same thing before every voyage, although with our living spaces. We'd ask, what's going to happen to this room when you tilt it on its side? Because inevitably, it would happen. <laughs> so very early on, I learned the importance of ship shaping practice of securing objects so that they don't go flying overboard when you run into rough seas. I picked up some skills in navigation while I was on board. I learned how to use a radar and how to translate in my mind what was on the radar screen to what was on the chart, and then translate what was on the chart to what was actually out in the real world. We used technology like GPS, but I also learned how to use a sextant. The number of different tasks on board that needed doing gave me a chance to try out different jobs like sail repair, diesel engine maintenance, <laughs> underwater videography, aerial acrobatics, <laughs> and even Polynesian dancing. <laughs> <laughs> It was through dance that I learned about the concept of fia fia, which roughly translated means happiness, and it's used to describe an approach to life. So I guess it's not ex all that surprising that I ended up in a discipline that studies different environments and places, but also people and cultures, and that's obsessed with maps and charts and location-based technology, because all of these are aspects of my life on the boat that I loved. So I think it's a good idea once in a while for everyone to take a minute or three to remember what got you here. Thanks. <laughs>